kings and queens welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are staying safe and well today i will show you how i make my brown stew parrot fish this is the fish so pretty i've already washed and cleaned them these are the other ingredients that i will be using my homemade green seasoning pimento berries salt to taste maggie on purpose paprika garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, vegetable oil, some ketchup, optional. I have some skellin here again, fresh thyme, some sweet peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Stay tuned. I'm gonna combine all my dry seasoning in a bowl. You know, as Jamaicans, we don't usually uh, cook with measurements. But when I started this YouTube, I wanted to make a difference by, you know, when I cook, I measure. Because when I post my video, I assume that whoever is watching it doesn't know how to make what I post. So, I always like to put measurements. So, if you're going to make it, you know exactly how much to add. Keep in mind, you can just season stuff to your own liking, okay? But I like to give a guide. So I add, I'll put everything in the description box that I put in here, okay? So I'm just going to mix it all together. So I've transferred the fish to a tray where I can, you know, deal with it the way I want to deal with it. But I don't remember if I mentioned... Scotch, I mean hot peppers. You can use scotch bonnet or any other hot peppers that you have. I'm in the U.S., so it's whatever I find. Um, and I'm going to use a, another half. With fish, you need a lot of pepper. Okay. All right. So basically, I'm going to. This fish was really big, so I had to cut it in two. Um, so basically, I'm going to season the fish inside and out. Okay. So make sure you. Get up in there and we'll season it really good. And then on the outside. Okay. And just rub it in real nice. Okay. Guys, so I've seasoned the fish with my dry seasoning. Now I'm going to add my green seasoning to it. So basically, just put it in there, rub it in nicely. And on the outside as well. I'll put the link, I'll also attach the link to my green seasoning. I'm telling you, this is everything. It makes the food so delicious and it saves time too. Okay guys, this is it. Nice and seasoned. So delicious already. So I cut up the little half of scotch bonnet and I'm just going to put it on top and rub it around. Okay, if you're afraid of the heat, don't cut the pepper. Okay, I'm going to use a whole one, like I said, to cook it down. So basically, I'm just going to rub it up in there. After you season your fish, just transfer it back to a container and cover it up and let it sit for like at least an hour before you cook it up, right? All right, stay tuned, looking good. Hey guys, so I got some oil here in my cast iron skillet and I'm gonna put some garlic in and some thyme. Let that heat up a bit. Okay guys, so just take a, I'm going to clean, get the peppers and as much seasoning as possible off the fish like so, just scrape it off. And you want to make sure your oil is really hot before you put the fish in, okay? So just put the fish in. bowl that the fish was sitting in, I'm basically going to put all my additions, additional seasoning into it. 
first starting with my green onions. I'm just going to cut it like this. Cut it down. And you just like so. Okay. So I'll put them in. fish is nice and fried just how I wanted it and I've reserved some of, I've tried, reserved some of the oil from frying to another pot and basically what I'm going to do is saute my my scallion so so let's add a piece of onion okay looks like it's ready I'm going to go in with all this goodness here see that two to three minutes until everything is soft enough, okay? Stay tuned, looking good. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Looks lovely. Oh boy, guys. And it smells so good. So now, I'm just going to layer my fish on top of all this goodness here. add my pimento berries, my thyme, my scotch bonnet pepper, and sprinkle with a little bit of my leftover seasoning. Fish is in the pot and in the same bowl that I seasoned the fish in, I'm going to add one cup of water and I'm just going to mix it around to get all the goodness up out of this bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to pour all of that over the fish and I'm going to let this put down for like 10 minutes. Okay? Stay tuned. Looking good. While the fish is simmering down, I'm going to mix my ketchup with some water. So, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of water, and I'm just going to mix the two together, okay? Okay guys, ooh wow, check it out. So it's been 10 minutes, and basically what I'm going to do now is... You know, basically, get spoon up your gravy over your fish, like so. Wow. Guys, it smells so good. in with my ketchup mixture and I'm just gonna pour it over the fish like so and I'm gonna cover this for ten five to ten minutes okay stay tuned let's check it out guys here it is it's all completed my brown stew parrot fish. I will put everything in the description box and I hope you guys will enjoy this recipe. Until next time, I thank you guys for watching. Be kind to others. One love.